Hello everyone, today we're here with Marcel French. He's assistant chief engineer with Adam Opel AG for mid-size petrol engines. Hello, thanks for being here. Hi. So what I want to know, what do you present here today and what about the new 1.6 liter petrol engine? What is so special about this kind of engine? Yeah, we're here to present uh, a new product offensive for, uh, for new uh, gasoline as well as uh, I mean diesel engines and uh, I'm here for, for gasoline engines as you mentioned uh, we're presenting here the new 1.6 SIDI turbo as well as also a 1.6 uh, turbo diesel engine uh, which uh, will be shown here the first time in the new Zafira Tora. So everyone is talking about fuel efficiency everyone wants to be less fuel consuming so what is your strategy? Of course this is one of our main development targets uh, to be better than the predecessor so to improve uh, fuel economy by a two digit percentage number and um, also uh, to, to get this benefit into the vehicle so that our customers will uh, earn the profits of it. Um, but uh, we also added some, some other topics uh, on our uh, specification list which were very important for us. So at the same time we wanted to improve uh, or increase the torque of our engines uh, to perform better so that uh, drivability and vehicle performance uh, would be more attractive uh, with this new engine generation. And uh, one thing which is very new and I think which uh, um, uh, is uh, very special uh, is, is the noise and vibration um, uh, reduction, reduction uh, from our new engines. Uh, so we, we did a lot of development and uh, we uh, did a lot of refinement uh, to make the engine uh, to what it is today, so uh, really uh, we're having now a new benchmark in regard of uh, noise and performance as well as on the diesel side uh, and also on the gasoline side. I've just driven the new Cascada with the new petrol engine and I must really say I could hardly hear it because it, was, it wasn't loud at all. So actually, uh, would you say loud is out definitely? Uh, loud is uh, not out, so maybe there are some uh, opportunities uh, which you want to take for uh, for engines which have a special noise character. Uh, but uh, uh, for for doing that, you you need a, I think a bass which is very silent and uh, and calm. And um, you can tune the engine, for example, with the exhaust uh, system of the car in the way that you want to have it and that's uh, the base of our new engine uh, generation and portfolio which we're having here. So for example if you want to have a more sportive character you can get it with our new engines but also for a family van you can have a very silent character in case you need it. Where do you see the future of petrol engines in general? Where do they have future with, with Opel or will they become less important? I think we are not uh, so far that uh, they become less important. Uh, I think uh, vice versa. We uh, we see that we have a lot of mob mobility with uh, uh, with petrol as well as diesel engines, and um, uh, our job is to perform better uh, in the future with these engines. So we want to reduce uh, CO2 emissions using the same kind of fuel technology. And uh, in parallel, of course, we're working on other um, um, systems like hybrid systems or range extender systems like the Opel Ampera, which you know. Um, but uh, we think uh, for, for the majority of the people, um, they know the advantages of these uh, uh, um, state-of-the-art technology and we will, we will see this for, for many decades on, is my personal <laughs> opinion for that one. So, thank you very much mm -hmm. and thanks everyone for watching. Thank you also.